Hey, Professor, you wrote on my paper that the website I cited wasn't scholarly. Ah, uh, yes. You were looking at emerging sports, and you were doing fine until you mentioned liquid mountaineering. Why? What's wrong with that? They had YouTube videos of it and everything. Billy, you know you can't trust everything on the internet, right? Look, I'm going to teach you something. Um, okay. What? Kapow! What the? How did you change me into a two-dimensional figure? Where am I? Does that say Google? All professors have the ability to upload students to the internet for instructional purposes. Let's look at the website you cited for Liquid Mountaineer. It wasn't like this in Tron. Where are the light cars? Ah, here we go. Now Kapow is more than the sound of me uploading you to the internet. It's also an acronym for the five criteria you need to look at for a website. The first thing you need to look at is currency. That is, you need to look for the date. This is a blog, so we can easily look at the postings. Notice how almost all the posts happen in a six-month period, and then they stop suddenly in June 2010? Yeah, but 2010 is pretty recent for a source, isn't it? You're right that this website is relatively recent, but it still lacks currency. A year with no news in an emerging sport is a long time. A more recent source is warranted. The second thing you need to look for is authority. What do we know about the author? Ulf well, doesn't exactly provide many details. If you're writing an academic paper, you want to be citing the work of a scholar or an accredited source of information, like a news outlet or professional association. Why does this matter? Well, that brings us to purpose. This website may look like it's about the sport, but do you notice what's in all these videos and photos? High-tech shoes. Is the website being objective? The details about the sport are really vague, with the exception of the shoes. Let's take a look at the high-tech website. So here they mention that they prominently featured in the viral video, and if we click on more videos, there's some telling information. They reveal that they made the video, and they also admit that liquid mountaineering is fake. The last thing you need to check is writing style. And I think we can both agree there was precious little of that on that blog. So there you have it. Currency, authority, purpose, objectivity, and writing style. Kapow! Well, I just wanted to cite another new extreme sport. Wait, does this mean extreme ironing isn't real? Well, that actually is a sport. How am I supposed to know then? Both seem equally ridiculous. That's why you need to do research, Billy. Looks like you'll be on the internet until our next video on internet research skills. Wait! Don't leave me here! Help! For more information on critical thinking or research skills, visit the Learning Commons Study Toolkits or attend one of our online workshops.